Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be going to the Jelani Place, which is one of the co-working spaces that we have been recently working on. We're going to be changing out the U6 Enterprise for the new U7 XG access points, as well as installing six AI 360s. Now the Jelani Place was featured on the Ubiquity website with their case study, and I will leave that down in the description below. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website, at MacTelecomNetworks.com. This video pretty much is just a speed through of what we were doing because we needed to get the Wi-Fi back online for the time of opening. I will be doing more in-depth on-site videos in the future, so let me know what you'd like to see. After we see the installation, we're actually gonna go into the Protect and see the camera angles. So I hope you guys enjoy. We've arrived at the job site and we're gonna be swapping out all of these U6 enterprises with the new Unify access points, which are the U7 Pro XGs. Um, so really we just need to take these down and put the new mounts on. After that, we're gonna be running cables for these six AI 360s. The brackets for the U6 enterprise and the new U7 XG are different. The XG are a little bit smaller. So for all of the access points, we had to take down the APs then we had to take down the ceiling tile and reuse the same ceiling tile so we didn't have any holes. We then put the new ceiling tile bracket on and we installed the access points. For the cafe seating area, we wanted a camera that would blend in, so we chose the AI360. This will allow us to see all of the cafe with just one camera. If we were putting bullets or we were putting turrets in, we'd need a minimum of two cameras. We're all done with the job for today. Uh, we installed, I think it was seven access points because I forgot one at home. And then we installed six AI 360s. So I'm just gonna walk around. It's gonna be a bit of a speed capture and then I'll show you what was done. Around the building perimeter, we have eight access points, the U7XGs. And in the middle of each hallway, we have an AI 360. In the corners of each hallway, we have an AI Theta. And we will see that once we look into our Unify Protect application. And that was it for the installation at this job. So let's quickly take a look at the topology of our network. We have multiple WANs coming in. Our main provider is Bell and our backup is Starlink. Going down to that, we have a UDM Pro Max, which is in shadow mode for that high availability. 
Then we have an aggregation switch pro and all of our other switches plug into them. These are the 48 port pro max POE switches. Then if we cycle down a little bit, you're going to see all of the different access points as well as a PDU Pro. Now let's take a look inside of Unify Protect and this is the dashboard. We have 21 different cameras. As you could tell, a lot of them are those fisheye lens styles. So either the AI Theta or the AI 360. We do have a G6 bullet as well as a G6 turret and a G4 instant. But let's quickly scroll down this list right here. You could see this camera right here is the G4 instant. Typically when I'm building out network rooms, we'll leave a camera inside so that we could catch if people are stealing anything. I am just going to leave this there for now and probably forever. And this is the Cafe AI360 and as you could tell, it covers pretty well almost every single seat. Unfortunately, they do have these bushes up top, so there's not a lot we could do with these. But the great thing about the AI 360s is we could put it into deep warp mode by clicking this square in the right hand corner. By doing that, we could just look around any angle that we want and see what we want. We could also look at the footage from any different angle. So if we want to look at the cafe and when somebody's at the reception desk, we could do that. This is the AI Theta and we have one of these in each corners of the building as you can see here. And this does cover traffic coming from both directions which is really nice. But what we were missing was footage in the hallways. So now what we've done, we put other AI 360s because that's what they prefer right in the hallways themselves so we could see who's coming and going and then the ai thetas will capture what's on the corner for the open area co-working space we have two ai 360s as well we could see this circle couch where people could sit on and on the right hand side this is the podcast room and then we have one going right over top of the cubicles so we're able to see all angles within the open area of the co-working space at the reception desk we have another ai 360 which covers this room perfectly we had also see that boardroom if people don't want to be seen in the boardroom they just have to hit a switch and then the glass fogs up which is really cool and the last camera that we'll take a look at is in this hallway for this hallway this is an exit hallway so if there was an emergency we have our emergency stairs and the reason we put an ai 360 in here is because it covers all three doors if we wanted to get coverage of all three doors we would probably have to have at least two cameras or maybe three And that's going to be it for this video on this particular build. We do have a ton other cameras at this site as it's a seven story building. We have cameras in the parking lot. We have an ENVR in the basement, which we do need to rebuild the rack so that the ENVR could fit in. If you guys would like to see a full video walkthrough of everything that's in sight, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.